In this video, I'll show you how to create your first WhatsApp campaign in Brevo. According to WhatsApp's website, campaigns like these reach over 90% open rates. On top of that, they let you reach your audience instantly and with way more engagement than traditional email campaigns. Hello, Internet people. My name is Robert and I help creators with the tech side of their business. Let's get started by logging into your Brevo account. And by the way, Brevo is also the sponsor of this video. And if you don't have Brevo account yet, then sign up by using my link, which you can find in the video description down below. And you will save 50% on Brevo starter and business plans for the first three months on annual subscription. There is also a coupon code for that in the description. Okay, to send the WhatsApp campaigns in Brevo is quite simple. We just head here to campaigns. And then from here, we can create a new campaign. And now you can choose what type of campaign you're creating. Uh, obviously, we're gonna choose WhatsApp from here. Let's give it a name summer sale, then start it. And now we need to uh, set up a few things. Let's start with the from. This is uh, the WhatsApp business account we're gonna be using. But since we haven't set it up, you can this go is not here. Something just Brevo charges is actually notice WhatsApp how it went charging, to settings and, and then, then it went inside Brevo inside WhatsApp a bit settings. Of to it. And now we need to connect to Facebook. Let's click on that. Okay, what I'm gonna tell you next is really important. It's best that you have a separate phone number for WhatsApp that you can use with Brevo alone. And then you link this number inside your WhatsApp Business Manager under the same profile. And WhatsApp Business Manager is basically in your Meta Business account. So that's where you also have your Instagram and Facebook. This is because one phone number can be used either with personal WhatsApp, the WhatsApp Business app, which is also on your phone, or you can connect to WhatsApp Business API, which uh, tools like Brevo use. So this is a limitation by WhatsApp, but luckily you can connect and manage multiple numbers under the same WhatsApp Business account. You can have multiple phone numbers just connecting to that one profile. That said, you will probably need a phone that can receive SMS to the phone number you will use with Brevo WhatsApp. But I think it's only during the setup and after you won't need it. If you have a phone that can take dual SIM cards, then that would work as well. There's other criteria here. Just check that you uh, follow these. And then when you're ready, click on continue. Now it's just telling us you must have a personal Facebook account that is linked to your business uh, email and we can click on continue. And notice that you'll need your business uh, details. So you just have them somewhere close by so that you can fill it that in. You have a valid business website and it's also required to uh, verify your account with Meta. Uh, so basically then you can send out more than a thousand messages per day. I think the limit before that is 250 or something like that. And just keep in mind that WhatsApp campaigns actually cost you a bit of money. So each message uh, costs you. And you can see a few examples of the pricing here. So it really depends on the country you're sending the messages to. Okay, let's click on continue. And now you need to verify again. Then it's asking, hey, can I connect to your uh, Facebook? Uh, Send in blue is basically Brevo. It used to be called Send in blue, but now it's Brevo. So that's why you're seeing different logos and stuff. But that's okay. This is all correct. Let's just continue. And now it's just asking for some information. Hey, this is what uh, you're giving your permission to. Next, just to select the business account you want to connect to. So then it'll uh, grab the business name. Here's the website also. And then I need to select the country for some reason, although it should be already there. And then, okay, I agree to all of this. Let's click on next. Now, if you already connected your business WhatsApp to inside Facebook, then in that case, you'll be able to select it from here. Otherwise, you would need to create it uh, and just connect it that way. But I think it's easier to even do it in Facebook. So if you go to Facebook and you're here in your account, just come here and go to settings. And from here, you can just simply search WhatsApp. And here, just select it and you can select again. And then here, if you haven't connected, you'll be able to do it here. I think it's easier this way than going through Brevo. Okay, so let's go back to our pop-up. I've selected that uh, account for my business and for WhatsApp business profile, uh, we can just uh, set it up and then just go ahead and fill in this form with your details and your phone number and click next. And then you get the verification code. Make sure you just connect it and click on next. Next, just review what terms you're agreeing to. And then if you're uh, okay with them, just click on continue. Okay, now we're ready to start chats and also send campaigns. So you can see that 250 business initiated conversations in a 24 hour period. That's great. So let's click on finish. Let's go back to campaigns. 
and you see that we have a new tab here what's up so and here's the summer sale so let's go back to editing this okay on this page you can see we have now from that's the what's up business account and now to uh, for this testing purposes i'm gonna i've created a list that is just me in it so i can uh, kind of talk to myself or send uh, them to myself so i can show you but you would create your own list with people that actually have whatsapp number in breville that way you can send uh, them in you know you can send them campaign that way let's go to test whatsapp so this is my uh, folder or actually segment that i created just for this uh, tutorial and you see it's one recipient save and uh, message content start creating we can use start from scratch so let's uh, start creating and i'm gonna call this the same one it's the summer campaign and the type is marketing language is english and this is the whatsapp business account start now we can actually style it a little bit we can give it a header so so we can obviously greet the person and then we can if you click on this variable we can add their first name for example so you would say um hey robert and if we don't know what the first name is, well, you will, it will use the default. So we could say something like, hey, friend, save. Now you see it shows it like that, but it will change it to the name of the person. And then the body, let's write a quick uh, message. So something like this, where we basically just promoting where we have a discount next week. And then you can click here on the button and you can see call to action, add a button. And we can say call a number or just give it a link. So this could go to our website like this and then we can add the button text something like this check our shop and now this is the message i would receive let's uh, test it out let's click on save and you can see that your template has not been submitted for approval by meta please submit it to use the template so you actually need to write it and then uh, you need to submit it so let's submit it for approval and you can see that this template is currently pending approval from meta once it's approved, you can schedule the campaign. So now we would have to wait. Now, in my case, I got the email quite quickly that the, my template was approved. I think it took one or two minutes and I got this email. And then if I go to my Brevo account and you can see here message, it's approved. So now I can go ahead and schedule it. From here, I can select the date. I'm just going to go ahead and select now so I can show you how it looks like. So I'll just send it out in uh, one minute. You can notice that I have here suspended. If you get this one, you need to buy more credits. This is what they're saying here. And you can get that if you go here. And from here, you can uh, buy more email credits or WhatsApp and SMS. So if I go here, you'll be able to select SMS or WhatsApp. So WhatsApp, I'm going to say just for, to show you how it looks like one number of messages. And in this case, I'm sending it to Netherlands. So I'm going to select that and just proceed to checkout and just go ahead and pay for this. Okay, I connected my PayPal and I can pay for this now. That's done. So now if I go to WhatsApp, it's suspended. So I need to refresh and resume this campaign so I can send out that one message. Let me refresh this. So you see here it's sent. Let's see if I actually receive it. Okay, I'm just going to switch to my personal WhatsApp. Now, notice I haven't added anything in profile. So that's why you don't see anything. So this is from my business account and this is the message. So I can now either block or uh, add this to a profile and uh, you can read the message here. And if I tap on check our shop, it will go to uh, to the browser, to the my website in this case. So everything is working like it should be to add a profile pic to your business account in WhatsApp. All you have to do is go to this URL business.facebook.com slash latest slash home. And then we're going to come here and click on all tools. And here we have search bar. Let's just search for WhatsApp. You, here you have WhatsApp manager. And then click on this number that you want to update. And you have profile here. So you could choose now the photo. Looking good. This is how it will look like. And uh, you can also add a little bit description. Just add a description. You can also add other details here if you want to. And then if you save it. And notice how it may take a few minutes for you your changes to show up in WhatsApp. So if I go back to, on my phone, so then a few minutes later, you can see that I have now profile picture. There's also, if I go to profile, there's a bit more information here. So basically you can update things here as you go. Now, the cool thing here is that you're able to see 
uh, how many recipients sent, and also how many people actually read your message. It's all really valuable information for your campaigns. This is a way for you to reach your clients completely new way, but really use it sparingly because, uh, yeah, WhatsApp is uh, very different or more personal than uh, using email. So you need to be careful that you don't abuse this right. Great. Now you know how to send WhatsApp campaigns in Brevo. So the next step is to learn the most powerful feature of Brevo, and that's automation. And they can be tricky when starting out. That's why you can avoid wasting time and making costly mistakes by watching this video next, where I'll teach you step-by-step -step how to use automations in Brevo.